Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to create a new mailbox. However, you cannot create a new mailbox, a uh, new user mailbox using the uh, Exchange Admin Center. Uh, you have to create a new mailbox either using the Microsoft 365 Admin Center or the Exchange Online PowerShell, which is the command line tool. Um, however, before I show you how to create a user, add a user. I'll explain to you briefly uh, about a term called recipients. Uh, so the recipients is a term referred to the people who can send and receive an email. Um, any user that is uh, created from the Microsoft uh, Office 365 will be automatic recipients who can both send and receive an email using the Microsoft Exchange route. Um, and the Microsoft Exchange consists of um, several recipients uh, which uh, helps you to differentiate between different recipient types, uh, search them, sort them, and more importantly, also helps you perform the bulk operation, making your life much easier. Um, so without any further ado, I'll show you how to add a user. Uh, I'll, ex I'll, I'll, I'll also explain to you um, uh, what are these available options. Uh, so when you go to the Microsoft Office uh, 365 Admin Center, um, on the left hand side under the users, uh, you can see the active users. When you click on the menu, you will end up on this uh, particular page. Um, so um, for the user template, uh, user template is uh, simply when you are adding a multiple uh, similar type of users, let's say a sales department. Um, uh, who have a similar kind of role or uh, uh, you can simply create a user template let's say create a sales template department and this is the template for the sales department and you can s you can you can uh, select the um, um, apps uh, let's say just click on this one uh, and you can also assign the roles um, uh, once you've done that, uh, you can slip, simply click on the the template you just created, and you can add the users. Uh, it's much easier when you're adding similar kind of uh, similar uh, people with a similar role, uh, different people with a similar role. Um, so yeah, so multi-factor authentication is uh, it acts adds an extra layer of security. Uh, so while you create a user now first it will ask for a password and it then it will ask for the dynamically generated code by um, authenticator app like um, Google Authenticator or or the Microsoft Authenticator which both are free um, so this is the user way you can use delete a user by clicking on this you can just simply delete the user you can reset the password of the user or even uh, export the user uh, which is very handy when you are uh, transferring the um, users from one one um, portal to a different portal so and as you can see there is a directory synchronization uh, it is basically if you have an active directory domain services software that is installed within an organization uh, then you can sync the contact with the um, online geo ad so that you don't have to create all the user manually again whereas the team setup is just the team uh, for the microsoft 365 um, so to create a user you just click on the act add the user uh, so there is three different type of uh, users single user guest user and multiple users so multiple users is you can upload or create a users in a bulk when you click on this uh, item you'll see that you can upload the csv file uh, you can download the sample csv file and when you download the csv file you can create a user um, based upon the um, uh, these um, so the the the, the row ham the row level must be same, whereas you can change the detail uh, below the row. And once you've done, you can simply browse and upload the um, CSV file, 
and it will import and create all of the users um, it will show you an error if there is any a, any error if the CSP has some error um, um, and the when you uh, and the second one is the guest user um, so the guest user is um, simply any users uh, where your colleague um, wants to collaborate um, with outside of your organization um, guest users can have um, access to files calendars and uh, basically they help your colleagues to collaborate with people outside the company um, so yeah so you can create a guest user if you uh, if you need any any um, short-term users uh, so when you click on the single users basically you just um, create let's say um, uh, say Uh, it will automatically generate the display name uh, you can assign the username and uh, you can automatically create a password and uh, force the user to change the password when they first sign in um, and also send the password uh, in email after completion uh, you can simply add your email for now uh, to email the new password uh, for the recipient so that you can send it to the uh, to the user um, you can hit the next you can assign the product license if you want the uh, specific uh, product then you can just choose between the license uh, or you can s or can toggle between uh, the, the the user without the, any product license um, this is not recommended um, under the roles um, as you can see that um, uh, admin roles gives the user to view the uh, data and complete tasks in the admin center so uh, you can simply see the uh, detail about the different roles that are available on the admin center by hovering on this i button I'll also share the link where you can view the detail about um, and the different roles the most common that are used in organization are the exchange admin um, that is able to view manage and uh, 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 manage the recipients email boxes including recovering deleting email and also delegate the email um, or like the group um, group uh, admin or where you can uh, use admin where you can create uh, or edit or delete and uh, restore uh, delete and restore the groups um, so I was referring to the group admins over here so if you're not uh, happy with these available option you can simply go to the collaboration um, which will uh, which have categorized the roles uh, further uh, uh, for for more ease um, you can um, view all the details uh, I'll show you the documents where the Microsoft have well documented each and every roles uh, uh, category in detail um, so you basically use the collaboration if you couldn't find the appropriate rules uh, given above so once you've selected let's say just give it the admin center uh, so the user admin and hit the finish button um, So once you're done with that, I'm just gonna access my um, Outlook. Um, I think it's gonna take a time. Let's just so once you uh, create a user, you'll receive an email uh, for the specific user, and um, if not, then you can simply hit the reset the password button and reset the password. I uh, can use this pass password for now. I'm just gonna go and um, the Office 365. Sign into that. Trans. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
that's the email. Oh, that's okay, so it's basically okay, good next enter your password. Uh, you, as you can see when you try to log in as a new user um, as I mentioned before it will force you to create a new uh, new password so Uh, once you're successful, it will ask you to add the additional security, um, like a two-factor authentication. However, I'm going to skip it for now. Uh, yep, so as you can see, you have uh, we have successfully um, logged in as a new user. Um, so you can see uh, that the user have got the... Um, admin access as well uh, for the um, um, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, uh, which we have assigned earlier. So, as you go back, uh, when you go to the Exchange Admin Center, if you refresh this phase, now you can see that the mailbox has been set up to the uh, the new user as well so this is how you create a new mailboxes um, I'll show you the um, uh, available resources uh, if you got stuck on anything I'll just you can just check in the, check the uh, video description uh, so that you can follow up uh, with the video um, thank you again for watching I'm gonna come with a next new video on how to um, add a share mailboxes and um, with all these options so please stay tuned